All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad, Yahweh Kakurash, which is all praise to the Most High. His name is Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, whom we're ignorantly called Jesus. Uh, Kakurash means Holy Spirit. That's in the Hebrew language. Um, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Honorable mention to the um, Aki and the brothers teaching this truth, waking up around the four corners of the uh, globe. Uh, uh, peace to the elect. Uh, the title of this video is going to be called But Because of the Promise. All right, because uh, everything is, is the narrative of the Bible and the actions that the Lord take. The reason why we're not consumed, you know, is because of the promise. Matter of fact, I'll get that first, uh, Malachi 3 and 6. It says, uh, it says, for I am the Lord, I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Now, what's consumed? To cease, finish, to end. All right, to be finished because when you, throughout history, Israel been throughout various captivities. Uh, and, and, and neither one of them captivities destroyed us because of the mercy that the Lord had for us. When you read the Baruch, he said, uh, matter of fact, let's get that. Because if the Lord, uh, if the Lord was to change, then that's a, it's a lot of implications in that. When you read the Bible, it's a lot of promises that the Lord, uh, gave to the children of Israel. The Lord willing, we'll get some of them, but, um, it's so like, oh, I gotta go get Baruch real quick. So to the nations. Baruch 4 and 6, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, okay? Not for uh not to be consumed, but because ye moved the most high to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. So the Lord made promises to us, but um if we don't um if we don't fulfill our part of the deal, then we don't get to get away scot free. Like the Lord is not a man that he should lie, right? And because he made promises to our fathers, our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, those promises are gonna be kept. So now but but you can't uh the seed of Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, to receive those promises, we we gotta be chastised for our um for our iniquities, all right? Now, this is uh, going back to the Apocrypha. Second Ezra 3. We're going to start at Second Ezra 3. Because uh, Ezra was crying out to the Lord, like, look, we, we are children. Um, we the one, you know, who you chosen. Why don't we have a portion with the heathen? Like, you know, what's going on? All right? And it goes back to that Baruch because we moved the most high to wrath. Second Ezra 3, verse 14. I started at 13. Now when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among them, whose name was Abraham. Him thou lovest unto, and unto him only thou showest thy will, and madest an everlasting covenant with him, promising him that he would he wouldest never forsake his seed. That's a promise. And that, and when you, it says verse sixteen, and unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose him to thee, and put by Esau, and so Jacob became a great nation. So it goes Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's the lineage. So, going back to verse fifteen, it says, and made an everlasting covenant with him, promising him that thou wouldest never forsake his seed. So this, the seed of Jacob is that uh is that particular seed that's been promised. I looked up promise on the Edomon online. It says a pledge, a vow, a promise, a guarantee, an assurance. Okay, to foretell assurance beforehand, promise beforehand, declaration made about the future, about some act to be done or not done. That's also prophecy. So the promises go hand in hand with promises because. Uh, the promises that the Lord has made us has yet to be fully manifested. 
one of the promises that we get is the, the understanding of the truth. And I think I got a precept jotted down, which goes into that. Okay. Uh, from promise related to uh, uh, promise, promised land is a reference to the land of Canaan promised to Abraham and his progeny. Basically, uh, pro for gene, gene seed to Abraham and his seed, man, that particular seed being Jacob. The seed of Jacob, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the confusion of faces scattered abroad that, do, uh, that directly comes from those lines, regardless of what color they look like. This is Second Kings 13.23. It says, and the Lord was gracious unto them and had compassion on them and had respect unto them, talking about Israel. Why? Because of his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and would not destroy them, neither cast he them from his presence as yet. So that's when, uh, during the time that uh, Haz Haz Hazael, the king of Syria, was oppressing um, the king, was that the kingdom of Judah? No, Israel in the days of Jehoaz, man. But it goes back to uh, the Lord allowed that to happen, going back to what Baruch 4 and 6, because we moved the Lord to wrath in some type of way. You know? Not to, not to be consumed, but because we moved the Lord to wrath. <laughs> but because of the promise, which goes back to the title of this lesson, the Lord has uh, mercy and compassion. When you read uh, Romans, the ninth chapter, it says, uh, it says, uh, Matter of fact, uh, Romans 9, 20, I think. It says, oh, no, it's up. Romans 9 and 15. For he, matter of fact, I started at 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Jacob being the father of the Israelites, Esau being the father of the Edomites. And the Edomites are the so-called white people today. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? The Most High forbid. Because people will say that, well, if he God, then he's supposed to love everybody. He created everybody. But it's just like uh, we, we, like to, well, we, we like to use the, the movie analogy. Hey, if I'm a director and I decide who the bad guy is and who the good guy is, it's my prerogative because I created it. It goes back to art. If I drew a picture and I wasn't fully pleased with it, no matter who liked that picture, if I decided to throw it away in the garbage or whatever, that's my prerogative because I created it. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. And that, that goes, the Lord uh, decided to put his mercy and compassion on Israel. And within Israel, he decided... Uh, to put that on the elect of Israel even more so. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that showeth mercy. Okay? So uh, let's go to Isaiah 41 and 8. Isaiah 41 and 8 says, But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. All right, going back to Exodus 4 and 22, is Israel is my firstborn, all right? That's just who the Lord chose, and it's, it's, uh, it's his prerogative. I, I said that word again, you know, because he created everything, man. He don't have no, uh, I mean, who are thou that replies against the most, yeah, Going back to that Romans 9. I'm going I'm to go back to that. Romans 9 and uh, 9 and uh, 18. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will, and whom he will, he harden it. Thou will say then unto me, Why doeth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Nobody has resisted the Lord's will. But he, uh, at the end of the day, you got to give him um, his omnipotence, his omnipresence, and his omniscience, okay? You got to give the Lord his due respect. 
and just hope and pray that you in his graces and in his mercies, as an Israelite. It says, verse 20, Nay, but, O man, who art thou that replies against the Most High? Like, who are you? The same way an ant can comprehend us, when we walk and we might, we, you, you know, you walk past an hill or something. The ants can't even see your face. They just might see the tip of your boot or the bottom of your boot. That's us in the comparison of the, of the Most High. But it just so happened that the seed of Israel, he decided to, to give us insight on some of his feelings through his word or some of his actions or some of his creation some of his marvelous mighty works because we've been given this this the understanding of the bible shall the thing form say to him that formed it why hast thou made me thus yeah because you was created going back to genesis when it said uh creature you're a creature creature mean creation the most high how he was not created okay so uh going back to malachi 3 and 6 it's a point I, um, I'm going to go back to that real quick. Malachi 3 and 6 says, uh, For I am how about me how shy? I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Now, when you, when you understand the promises and uh, what the Lord got for Israel, it's more than just, uh, oh, we're we going to have the land of Israel. Not only will we um, <clears throat> so like you have the land of Israel, but we will have rulership and authority over the nations. Okay, we won't die. We won't be sick. Okay, we'll be in league with the animals. So we won't have to. We, there won't be no fear. There won't be no pain. There won't be no tears. Everything will be in order. But because uh, the scripture says the wages of sin is death, and we will not sin. Okay, the laws and statutes and commandments are going to be downloaded into the seat of our mind, into our inner man, where we will be perfect. So uh, perfection is in corruption, and, and, and corruption is death, so we're not going to be corrupted. Okay? Uh, it was a point I wanted, uh, Psalm. Psalm, um, 149. I may read it. Yeah, I'm going to just read this whole thing. Psalm 149 says, Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of his saints. Who are his saints? Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. He didn't say let the whole world. Let the children of Zion, that's another title of Israel, be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For Yahweh taketh pleasure in his people, not in the people, in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. What do meek mean? Poor, humble, afflicted, poor, needy, weak. Yes, yeah, so it's all about humility. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. The saints are the children of Israel. Let the high praise of the Most High be found in the uh, of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his saints praise ye Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai this is a promise this is a promise to the children of Israel so how could this how could uh, the adoption or the bringing back forth as sons or repentance be brought into the other nations? So you mean to tell me all the children of Israel with a sprinkle of Edomites, a sprinkle of uh, Ammonites, a sprinkle of Moabites going to be executing vengeance upon the rest of the nations? So they're going to destroy their own people? No. This scripture says that to execute vengeance upon the heathen is for the Israelites and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains. Now that's a promise of the Lord. The, the, you know? So, uh, this is a uh, second Ezra. Oh, I go to my, uh, I'm a app. Second Ezra 4 and 24. It says, and we pass away out of the world as grasshoppers 
and our life is astonishment and fear, and we are not worthy to obtain mercy. Now, this is the uh, the verse I was reading, meditating on that prompting this lesson. We are not worthy to obtain mercy. The only reason, the only reason we get mercy, is because of the promises, the promises, man, or the promise that the Lord made. Okay, I'm gonna jump to a. Uh, I'm going to stand in the apocrypha. I'm going to jump to Tobit 3 and 3. It says, Remember me. I start at the top. Then I, being grieved, did weep, and in my sorrow prayed, saying, O Lord, thou art just, and all thy works and all thy ways are mercy and truth, and thou judgest truly and justly forever. Remember me and look on me. Punish me not for my sins and ignorance and the sins of my fathers who have sinned before thee. So punish me not, and you know, because the thing is, you always had righteous men in the Bible praying to the Lord and begging to be forgiven of their sins. And so if you got a righteous man saying that, then how much more so a man that don't know if the Lord imputed righteousness to him or not? Because the Lord actually imputed righteousness to men. And he imputed righteousness to Abraham Okay, he imputed righteousness to uh, Ezra's too. We'll get that. This is 2nd Ezra's 8 and 48. It says, In this also thou art marvelous before the Most High, in that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee. Because you, uh, uh, one of the words for humble is uh, humiliation, man. As it becometh thee, because in comparison to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, how dare you not be humble? You know? That's how I look at it personally. I read 49 again. And that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee, and hast not judged thyself worthy too much glorified among the righteous. Okay? So, like, yeah. I read for the, uh, 47, it says, For thou comest far short that thou shouldest be able to love my creature more than I, but I have oftentimes drawn nigh unto thee. So the Lord drew nigh unto, unto Esdras and unto it, but never to the unrighteous. So if the Lord don't draw to the unrighteous, who did he draw to? To the righteous. In this also thou art marvelous before the Most High, and that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee, and hast not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. For many great miseries shall be done to them that, are in the, that, are in, that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. See? Uh, humble is the opposite of pride. Humble, another word for humble, is humiliation. Pride is like, shit, I, I'm not going to be humiliated because... Uh, many prophets were humiliated uh, for the Lord because he told them to him. Uh, Ezekiel had to eat uh, dung, okay? Isaiah walked naked. Hosea married a, a woman of uh, whoredoms, okay? That's humiliations. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like ye, like thee. For unto you is paradise open. The tree of life is planted. The time to come is prepared. Plenteousness is made ready. A city is builded. And the rest is allowed. Yeah, perfect goodness and wisdom. I'll read 53. The root of evil is sealed up from you. Weakness and the moth is hid from you. And corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. Okay. Uh, Romans 4 and 8. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not will not impute sin because the scripture said all have fallen short of the glory it says uh who is righteous no not one so nobody is perfect the only the only man we had walk perfect was Yahweh shot and even he said why callest thou me good only one good is my father in heaven because through the uh through the reincarnation Yahweh shot was not perfect as Solomon, he went off through, uh, through letting uh, his heathen women uh, worship idols and corrupt the seed of Israel. But that's a lesson for another day. 
But that's why the scripture said, blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin, because he can. The Lord can impute sin on whom or whosoever he will. That's why, going back to that Romans 9, he will have mercy on whom he will have mercy. Okay, and he will, he will, or he will harden who will be hardened. So the Lord can harden you. He can be moved against you and harden you. Okay? So all we got is hope to be in his good graces, to be under his mercy. All right, so I get up. With that being said, I, I'm, this is not the order I wanted the scripture, but I'll get it now. This is Isaiah 66, verse 2. It says, uh, For all those things have my hand made, and all those things have been said, Yahweh Basham Yahushai. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor, that word poor goes into humble, and of a contrite spirit, contrite meaning broken, dejected, and trembleth at my word, because you feel dejected. All right? Because we can't properly serve the Lord. The Lord gave us statutes, laws, and judgments. And, and commandments and in the present state we cannot keep them that's it's just being under the authority of the so-called white man and, and with him being totally uh adversary to what the bible says we cannot keep the bible so we're we're all sinning as i speak right now i'm sinning i got on mixed fabric okay i'm unclean in various sorts of ways and we we walk in a state of uncleanness so that's why it's all about the mercy of the Lord. Okay? So the Lord looking for people, the Lord looking for, but, but to this man will I look, this is what the Lord looking for, even to him that is poor, humble, and of a contrite spirit dejected. Okay? And trembled at my word. Just like Habakkuk said, I heard thy speech and I was afraid. That means that that's belief, that's faith. Because the judgment that's written. It's lamentation, mourning, and woe. Pursuant to Ezekiel, I believe it's the second chapter. Second or the third chapter, but I want to say the second chapter. So knowing that to be true, thus saith the Bible, we hoping not to be caught up in that. We hoping to be caught up in the Lord's mercy. So we tremble that his word. All right, which is uh, Ecclesiasticus, known as the book of uh, Sirach. 17, I'll start at 10. It says, and the elect, no, I start uh, at nine. It says, he gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever that they might declare his works with understanding. Yeah, the Lord gave us the Bible, the Israelites, but he only gave uh, a certain group of men, the 144,000, which is part of the elect, to declare it, man. The prophets. It says, he gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever that they might declare his works with understanding on this time around. The prophets that the prophets right now declare the works of the Lord. Okay? Now you got certain men the Lord put the spirit on, all right, that go into the science or uh history, but the uh, the key thing is prophecy. Now you do need to understand it of history, uh and even a little science. Because science engulfs a lot of things. Science just means uh, to know. Okay? So whether you know things about herbs and you know uh, things about certain metals or whatever. But the, uh, the first and foremost is the understanding of this Bible. It says, and the elect shall praise his holy name. So that's a cut. Everybody not going to praise his holy name. The elect is. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. Yeah, the law of life, what Baruch form one says. This is the commandment of the Lord that endured forever. All that keep it shall come to life. And all that uh, don't keep it shall be destroyed, roughly paraphrasing. That was given to Israel, it says. Their eyes saw the majesty of his glory, and their ears heard his glorious voice. And he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness. And he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor. Remember uh, with the children of Israel, uh, when the Lord came down, I believe that was Mount Sinai. So they all saw and witnessed and heard his voice. And because they were so afraid, they told Moses to speak with them. 
All right, their ways are ever before him and shall not be hid from his eyes. Every man from his youth is given to evil. Neither could they make to themselves fleshy hearts for stony. See, every man from his youth is given to evil. It says, for in the vision of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion, whom being his firstborn, he nourished it with discipline. And given him the light of his love, do have not forsake him because of the promises. Therefore, all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continually upon their ways. None of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Lord. Yeah, because our righteousness are as filthy rags. Because we can't be righteous. You know, that's why we needed a mediator. That's why we needed Yahweh Shai. We needed that go-between. Because we fucked up, to put it bluntly. Verse 21. But the Lord being gracious and knowing his workmanship, knowing we filthy rags, knowing uh, Romans 8, the creature was made subject to vanity. We was made like this. We was made imperfect to call on the perfect one. Okay. Neither left nor forsook them, but spared them. See, mercy. Mercy. It says, the arms of a man is as a signet with him, and he will keep the good deeds of a man as the apple of the eye and give repentance to his sons and daughters. Okay? Afterwards, he will rise up and reward them and render their recompense upon their heads. Verse 24, but unto them that repent, he granted them return. That's the adoption. Okay? To, to, to go back to something you had to been there once before. And comforted those that failed in patience. So it's a, uh, it's about repent. The promise, the promise is to the elect, and it's to the rest of Israel by default, because of the uh, the covenant the Lord made with the seed of Abraham. Okay, that's why it speaks about the elect up front. You know, uh, I'll end it with the uh, wisdom of Solomon. Well, I'll, I'll rephrase that. The, the promises is to Israel, okay? But uh, the elect going to get it the first go round, all right? The elect going to get a, a, a um, how can I word it? A greater reward. Then the, the, the elect in the nation of Israel will get a greater reward than those that are not the elect. Wisdom of Solomon 3. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken from misery. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For the Most High proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. See, this is the greater portion that the elect have. Verses like the apostles say, uh, just a regular citizen in Israel. Because the Most High proved them and found them worthy for, them, for himself. Israel, uh, Sirach 17 said, Israel is the Lord's portion. But within the Lord's portion, the elect is like the cherry on top, so to speak. Verse 9, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And that's heavy because all Israel are not going to understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints. See, grace and mercy is to his saints. The, the saints of the Lord is Israel. So all Israel in the end will receive grace and mercy. As the Romans, uh, the 11th chapter say, all Israel shall be saved. Matter of fact, let's get that. This is the grace and mercy to his saints. This is the grace and mercy that the whole of Israel will receive. It says... Uh, Uh, 
What is that? All Israel shall be saved. Oh, 26. Oh, okay. Romans 11 and 26. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written. There shall come out of Sion the deliverer, which is Jehovah Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, and shall turn away ungodliness for Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. So this covenant was made to all Israel. And when the ungodliness is being turned away, that's the law, statutes, and commandments being downloaded into us. All the whole seed of Israel will obtain will obtain this. Verse, uh, going back to the Apocrypha, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9, just to finish up that last verse. I'll read the verse 9 again. Oh, it's like, read verse 9 again. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints, all of Israel. And he had care for his elect so that the elect is going to receive that extra. Like uh, in school, they used to have a saying, you know, the difference between ordinary and extraordinary. You'd be like, what? It'd be like that little extra. That's the elect. It's that little extra, that cherry on top. With that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. God, Halal, Yim, Lai, Yahweh, Ba, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, Shalom.